tough night for our Bucks last night, but we still have faith that it'll be the Bucks in seven. That's right. It's been quite a ride for the team and for the Bucks sideline and digital reporter Katie George. We are thrilled to have her back here on the yellow couch bright and early this morning. Yeah, after a late imagine? night. Imagine, I know, right? Like, we feel puffy. I got Gatorade down there. Yeah, you look I mean. good. Thanks. I feel like I have morning voice a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Don't it's because she's so young. Too. I know, right? That's what I think part of it is. You look great. Thanks, thanks for being here. Of course, thanks for having me. Can you me. imagine that your first year was going to be this crazy with the Bucks? No, people say that all the time. Yeah. Uh, did you ever envision joining the box moving to Milwaukee and finding this kind of success? Uh, I've been thrilled. It's been such a fun ride and I don't want it to end. Yeah, I definitely don't want it to end in Toronto. So I hope that they can get back on track and start playing their brand of basketball and we can come back for Memorial Day on Monday. Well, it great. was tough watching great. last night and I know um, Tiff and I both it, it was I got a little angry. They got such a, <laughs> nice, a little loud. A lot of people. Yeah, they got such a nice start last night. I know. They did, uh, and that was great to see, but you need to be able to do that for 48 minutes. Yeah. Uh, they got to off to a great start in game four in Toronto at Scotiabank, and then Toronto came back. Toronto's not going to go away. They're a great no. team. Kawhi, Winter, Kawhi Leonard is one of the best two-way players in the league. I don't like yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> you and a lot of Bucks fans, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. uh, so their backs are against the wall. This isn't an ideal situation. You're going on the road to a very hostile environment, uh, but this is a gut check. Can you win on the road? and extend this series to game seven and really take advantage of home court. I mean, that's what they worked for all season long, and this is where you try to take advantage of that. Do you yeah. think Coach Bud will do something different for this game? Because I feel like uh, they've, uh, we're just constantly on, on the defense. I mean, they just their defense is just killing us. The defense is uh, extremely strong, mm -hmm. definitely, and they're doing a great job showing a lot of bodies, uh, mucking up the paint against Giannis. Uh, they're two-timing him, essentially. They're just holding them down. They they're are. holding yeah. him down. They are, and, and unfortunately, they need some players on the perimeter to knock down shots to be able to open up the paint. That's what they've yeah. done all season long, and that's why they've been so successful. Uh, but, you know, we could see some personnel switches, some different uh, groupings of five-on-five. Five. So he's got his hands full, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. I love – I mean, everybody loves Giannis, yeah. and I feel like he's really he, – it seems like he's had a really tough time and he's struggled this series, but I think we have to remember what you said is the way that they've double-teamed him yeah. and the way they've really tried to neutralize him. I have to say, when he goes to the free-throw line mm -hmm. and he misses, it just breaks my heart. I, mean, yeah. I think you always pull for athletes in mm -hmm. certain situations. but That's I mean, one of them. That's one of mm -hmm. them. It is, and the thing is he works at his free-throws – so often yeah. and so many times after shoot around before practice so it's not something that he's you know not thinking about uh, clearly it's in his head because he is so effective yeah. going to the rim and drawing fouls uh, they need him to continue to be aggressive and to do so but they need uh, teammates to hit some shots yeah hit some shots open up that offense really space the floor uh, and help him out as much as you can. So yeah, yeah. We'll see there was that. Middleton last night. Where was that? That's yeah. the thing. That's oh. the thing is you have some guys show up one night. Yeah. And then on the other night, they finally show up, and you don't have other guys. Right. And that's what's kind of frustrating to watch is right. all season long we've seen them all show up, and guys, you know, top to bottom from one through fifteen have impactful minutes out there, and. and really have great games and we just haven't seen them all collectively play as one unit tonight tonight or not, I mean tomorrow, tomorrow night tomorrow night tomorrow, I just want yeah. them to all come together yeah, you want to like, you want to fast just, forward just uh, to see yeah. I thought Drake was going to be there last night I'm glad he wasn't <laughs> are you I, I one cares. dance would have like had a hard time yeah we had Gucci Mane around. instead Gucci Mane that's was, right uh, yeah. there in, <laughs> in response standing up showing his energy yeah that's yeah right. uh, I get it you can be a super fan that's for sure but you Probably shouldn't walk on the court or touch no. a coach. I just that's not that's not against no that's, that's against not against. totally inappropriate. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, that's not the reason though. You know no. yeah. they need to play basketball, play better, uh, and not worry about Drake. And I don't think they're really even concerned. But yeah. it is definitely a storyline to follow. How yeah. does this feel different than than regular season? I mean, clearly there's a different energy about it. But mm -hmm. as a sideline reporter, digital reporter, all that, how is it different for you being there for finals? Well, it's weird for me because we're not doing the broadcast, the game broadcast on Fox Sports Wisconsin. We just do a pregame and postgame show. So I kind of feel useless in yeah. a sense of like I want to be doing more and I don't like sitting and watching the games just as a casual fan yeah I, I would rather be working because it keeps me focused and on task and whereas I start feeling anxious watching like you know I'm getting an oh god yeah. you know make a yeah. shot or you know I'm, I'm, just, I'm very anxious all the time I'd rather be doing something and focusing but 
I mean, just to be on this run, there's a lot of people on summer vacation right now, and we're still working, and <laughs> yeah. I, I hope to be working into June because we'll be in the finals at that point, but uh, it's been an incredible experience just to yeah. be able to follow Good these guys. You. And I you know. interviewed Shaq, too. <laughs> yeah. I did interview How was Shaq? that? I mean, um, he's a large human. Yeah. <laughs> But you know what? I was surprised. I thought I was going to look much smaller, and I didn't. But how I don't know what that says about me. You're tall. They are a volleyball player. They, they were high heels, but I was. I didn't feel as small as I really wanted to. So. Really? Yeah. Uh, but he sang. Uh, he sang. I kissed a boy, and I liked it, which that was very entertaining for me personally. Because he did kiss a boy. Yes, he yeah. did. He kissed Charles, Charles Barkley yeah. right in yeah. front of me. That is. I adorable. felt a, a bit neglected, but uh. yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're like, what am I, chop liver? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so we have this true/false battle okay. for you. I'm okay. gonna ask you a couple of questions. Okay. Yep. Um, true or false? I have a game day ritual. True. True. Oh, I do. Well, I have a regiment like just like they do pregame of like how I like believe me or not. I like I don't wake up like this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what talking thing. about. We do. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky, uh, <laughs> get me <Yeah>. on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair. True or false, Aaron Rodgers is funny. I actually thought, wait, yeah, true. I actually thought he was funny. Yeah. I was surprised. I didn't know what to expect when I interviewed him. Uh, but he had a lot of good jokes, and he got my uh, Mean Girls reference because I was wearing pink on Wednesday. <laughs> he was like, oh, did cute. you just make a Mean Girls reference? And I was like, first off, did you just recognize that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see Because your kudos buddy. to you for that. <laughs> a yeah, lot of respect. That's adorable. <laughs> Yeah, uh, true or false, I can live without coffee. Uh, false. Oh, yeah. you yeah. got to have your coffee. I'm like do you a drink queen. it at night? I do, and I can go right to sleep. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah you're, that's oh, amazing. Oh, my mom's like that. Okay, true or false, I would never date an athlete. Uh, false, they get it. Like, okay. I get it, they get it. All I right. get that lifestyle. I'm busy, they're busy. Yeah. They're independent, I'm independent. <laughs> uh, somebody who's clingy. Yeah. I am, like, looking, so, but if you're clingy, you're oh, not Oh, <laughs> I got to be clingy. I got to do this one. We're out of time. Um, true or false, I am an award-winning cosplayer. I am not. Somebody fix my Wikipedia page. <laughs> This morning, where I was like, I was like, what? I'm go we're Googling it to see this too, and it, there is a famous cosplayer, Katie George, George I know. who is not you, but is hilariously funny in her own right. She <laughs> is, but it's all my pictures yes. in her bio, and I'm like, this just can we just get them linked together, like yes. separately? Somebody yeah. fix it, please. <laughs> True or false? The Bucks can win in Toronto tomorrow night. Come on, yeah, Ooh. come on, Ooh. let's go. Let's go, Katie George. All right. Do you travel with the team? I do, yes. yes. Okay. We are right. leaving awesome. soon. All are right, you? stay in okay. touch with us and come I back. I will. Thank you, guys. We love it when you're here. I appreciate it. Go the Bucks. Yep. Yep. Hopefully so it's a big one Monday. That's yeah. what we're hoping for. All right, thank you.